Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's talk about foiling and polynomials. Foil. Foiled again. Alright. Foil is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Alright. Very similar to our friend PEMDAS, which is a mnemonic as well, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. FOIL is first, outer, inner, and last, and this applies to polynomials. And it's um, as easy as this. So we have an equation. We'll say um, 2y plus 3 times 3y minus 2. <clears throat> and what do we do? We do the first. That's our first. And so uh, 2 times 3 is 6. y to the second. So 6 y to the second. We do the outer, which would be these two here. That's outer. So uh, 2y times negative 2, of course, gives us negative 4y. And then we do, uh, we do the inner. And that gives us a positive, neg a positive 9y. And then we do the last, which are these two. This one and this one. So 3 times negative 2 gives us negative 6. Combine like terms, in this case 6y to the second. Uh, minus four, uh, minus four plus nine gives us five y minus six. That is a simplified foil, uh, and you will use it a lot as you get into polynomials. Thanks for watching. Let's take a look at uh, Wolfram Alpha's graphical interpretation of that. I uh, believe that is the equation, 2y plus 3 times 3y minus 2. Yes, it is. Now, let's take a look at it. It's going to, um, it's going to generate a couple of parabolas, like cups right there. There they are. It is a parabola. There's the alternate form, 6y squared plus 5y minus 6, minus 6 which is what we uh, calculated. There are the roots for y, negative 3 half and over y over 2 thirds. Polynomials, derivatives, indefinite integrals, global minimums, etc. So uh, once we start getting deeper into math, you'll find that it uh, opens up all kinds of interesting, uh, interesting doors for us to explore.